Principal Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Miriam Abdul-Richards, expects an increase in COVID-19 cases within the next week. Speaking during Monday's COVID-19 health update, Dr. Abdul-Richards said the predicted spike in cases is related to increased movement during the Christmas season. This coincides with a 14 to 21 day period from the start of the increased movements for the Christmas festivities. And yes, we appreciate that many of you were fully vaccinated, but there has been increased movement, which really coincides and correlates with the Christmas season. In the interim, Dr. Abdul Richards says the ministry is allocating resources to manage the expected increase. But she said the human resources capacity continues to be limited. We are continuing to look at increasing or operationalizing facilities for low acuity and medium acuity patients. ICU and HDU continue to be a challenge. We have increased our vaccination drive. There are boosters that are now available. Dr. Abdul Richards encouraged people with symptoms to present to the hospital to seek medical attention early. She says late detection of the virus can result in an increased demand on the healthcare facilities. And 67 COVID-19 deaths in the first three days of the year, as 22 more are recorded in the past 22 hours. According to the latest update from the Ministry of Health, among the fatalities are seven elderly males, six elderly females, five middle-aged males and four middle-aged females. This country's total COVID-19 deaths now stand at 2,936. The comorbidities present in the deceased today are diabetes, hypertension, cancer and asthma. 338 new cases of the virus have also been recorded, taking active cases to 15,183. 66 people have been discharged from the public health facilities, while 462 remain at hospital. In other news... Minister of Health Terence Yao Singh is reminding the population that vaccines save lives. This is in spite of the passing of former Calypsonian Kenrick Kenny J, who died from the virus on Sunday. Mr. Joseph's family said he was fully vaccinated. Minister Yao Singh said vaccination of a patient should be considered in the context of the person's health status and whether or not they had any comorbidities. So deepest condolences to Kenny's family, but the promise of vaccination is to significantly reduce your chances of dying from COVID. It will not eliminate or bring it down to near zero. Minister Liao Singh said the vaccine has a threefold effect in that it reduces the chances of contracting the virus, reduces the chances of needing advanced care, and reduces the chances of dying from the virus. 